J360 Radio. Hello, J360 Legion, and welcome to the J360 Mini Bites here on J360 Radio, hosted by JM Brady. I am your host, JM Brady. Let's get into it. Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, please pardon the fan. It's a little warm around here, so we're going to go ahead and go with that. I am your host, J.M. Brady, of course, and welcome to the Mini Bites 205. Ooh, we are climbing up the ladder, and I'm enjoying it. By the way, for those of you that have not participated in J360 Radio last week, you missed out on some surefire stuff. Let me just tell you that. Like, everything was just firing off of all cylinders. And then not to mention, like, um, Jams88 killed last night. I mean, well, not last night. I was listening to it last night, though. <laughs> So it might as well have, but last week we knocked it out of the park, everybody. It was incredible. And like I said, I, it just reminds me of why I do J360 Productions as a whole, and especially J360 Radio. Like right there, that's just how it's done. Magical, and I know a lot of you other musicians out there are waiting to go ahead and jump into some other Jams episodes, which you can. And like I said, you can email your two tracks and a link that you want to grow to j360jams at gmail.com because 89 will be here soon enough and as of this right here it is now accepting submissions i want to let you all know that you can submit to 89 and i will drop some more information tomorrow about 89 as we go on uh now as far as the j-man show is going the j-man show is going to 3 30 and you got two episodes of that this week oh it's gonna be incredible because we got a lot to talk about, and I mean, some of that stuff that really dives deep into, like, you know, some of the things that have been taking place in society these days, and, uh, man, it, 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 it is wild to me. But, first things first, let's talk about, like, <laughs> the same old story going on. Why are people always upset about, like, when some people are talking about subject matter that people can't handle? See, when I do the J-Man show, I talk about what I need to talk about. I discuss like a lot of those things that people nowadays say, you can't talk about that. Yeah, you can. Yes, you can. Unless it's really off the record, you can talk about it. See, all this stuff running around here, these secrets, the taboo, all this crazy stuff going on, or like how people can't talk about like OnlyFans and all that stuff. Yeah, you can. When it comes to adults, you can. Like if you have kids floating around, you really shouldn't be talking about certain things, have a little decorum. But there is moments where like, I know my show's not made for kids. I know, like, if I ever do make shows that are for the children, that, you know, a lot of the adult things are not going to be in that. But it's just wild to me how we the people, you know, we, we talk about censorship as a way of keeping things tidy and clean. But then there's a moment where it's over-censorship. Then there's a moment where it's, like, it's too much. And see, the thing about having rules like this in play they only affect the ones that are in proximity. The ones that create these rules and stuff like that, chances are they probably won't follow them because they make the rules. And I've seen a lot of that lately. And I've seen a lot of people get canceled, allegedly, when at the same time, canceling you one way or another, you realize that a lot of that stuff is psychological at best. And then a lot of it, like, where people are coming at you in, like, a angry mob format or, like, you know... Like, all the time on Twitter, they used to go at people, used to say all this stuff and all these things. There are ways to try to rise above it. Now, me, myself, on the other hand, I don't give a damn what people think. I don't give a damn what people do. I'm doing my own thing. And I'll, and that's scary enough for some. It's just like when some people can't handle it. And they'll be like, if you do that, I will never hang out with you again. Or they're, like, mad at The Rock now because The Rock spoke out against, like, you know, people who whine too much. People who are entitled, even though at the same time he's a rich billionaire, talking about like he's um really ashamed that he endorsed Joe Biden. There's a lot of rich people that are out there saying that stuff right now. I've I've noticed that that much, and then there are people out there saying they're disappointed in him. I'm like, once again, this is how you know like we in America are a little bit more free than you think. Because when you run out and do like a bunch of innate shit, like when you go to like a, a gaming convention and you all stand out there in a field and yell real loud together, like if that ain't fucking mental illness unchecked, I don't know what it is. Or like any of this other stuff where people were freaking out during COVID and everything. 
instead of handling things in a rational manner. That, uh, that of course, is another sign of, like, once again, we don't lost our minds. We're all upset about this and that. It just, like, we'll always be reaching for the panic button instead of actually, like, really talking about things. And you see, like, when it comes to talking about things, try not to disrespect each other and make each other feel like they're foolish and all that kind of stuff. You need to teach people things, too. Now, I've noticed somebody saying, like, oh, we need to counsel people. Once again, I'm not a damn counselor, but I've noticed people around me um, needing one. And I've also noticed, like, you know, there are people out there who can't handle what another adult says. See, part of living in this whole thing is is that if not, you're going to be in an echo chamber when you don't listen and stuff like that. Hear them out. Like, I, I'd rather hear somebody say something really innate and stupid. That way, so I could be like, all right, damn it. I know you're wrong about this, and I proved you wrong. And when I proved you wrong, you either learn from it or you stay offended. And the people out here that are running around now doing this stuff, they're looking to be offended. I've noticed, like, some people will say... Oh, you you can't talk about the election. You can't talk about what's going on in video game journalism. You can't talk about what's going on in journalism in general. You can't talk about what's going on in music. You can't talk about AI. You can't talk about dating. And you can't talk about my OnlyFans because there's a person behind that screen. Motherfucker, I'm a person behind a screen. What the hell are you talking about? Like, whenever I hear people try to come up with more and more things not to talk about, there's no real conversations going on. And while we're on the subject here, like, you you never know. You might have financial hardship and DoorDash and OnlyFans was probably the way you could get out of it. I don't know your origin story. I don't need to know your origin story. But I do know that in the end, a lot of that stuff, at least one gives you food and the other one just gives you a period of teasing. You know what I mean? Oh, it's pleasurable. It's pleasurable. This is great. This is the way it is. Like, when I talk about OnlyFans, I'm talking about them friggin' entitled motherfuckers out there that go above and beyond and give you the most mediocre shit, and you pay, like, uh, how much in subscription fees for this? Whereas, like, somebody else is working on a variety of content that has nothing to do with that kind of stuff, and it is actually more enjoyable, but you will not support it. You know, and then they got the nerd to want to talk about like male gaze is the problem, and then like you know, date date taking somebody out to the cheesecake factory is a big no no for a date. Where in the hell did these rules come from? That's what I usually say. Where did any of these rules come from? Why doesn't things make sense anymore? And how come it's like when other adults are more mentally ill than me? That is the weirdest shit to me. You know, and then you got other people trying to impress those people who obviously have problems. They're not going to tell them they have a problem. Oh, no. But they're going to try to get in good with them, ride the coattails and everything, you know, lactate and say, this is incredible. This is brilliant. And kiss all that ass. Whereas me, myself, you know, because you know how I am. And now, like, I'm like, wow, that's well, thank you anyway for telling me I do a great show and all that jazz. That's cool. But, you know, I'm still trying to work on getting this other stuff together. I haven't done it yet, you know. But then, like, people will sit right there and try to judge somebody all the time. You know, and maybe that's maybe that's the reason why people don't really have those conversations because they're afraid of being judged. Yet they're not afraid of starting shit with other people and getting hosed for that, too. I mean, it, the, the list goes on and on, y'all. I look at this stuff all the time, and I'm like... Well, if it's such a problem, well, why don't you get all the facts together and talk about it? No! I want to react to it. I want to be mad. I want to be pissed off. I want to cuss and and intimidate people. You know, bully them into silence and stuff. Just like all that stuff with Gamergate. It's like, oh, well, Gamergate 2.0 or whatever the fuck they call it. It's, it's, It's just nothing but innate stupidity. And you got all this grifting going on. And not only that, all this grifting is manned by a bunch of women who don't want to even... A bunch of women that don't even want to be accountable for like, hey, we were wrong and we're going to do better next time. You know what I mean? People don't want to look wrong and stuff like that. I think it's that public view. I remember a long time I did a did an episode about the public view and how it can be a real bitch sometime and how you look towards other people and stuff it usually justifies things. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, yeah, yeah, it could be. But, you know, you if you know something is wrong. Stand up for it, even if you're going to lose your friends, even if you're going to lose people around you and stuff like that. 
those people are not strong-willed enough to be backing you up. If if there's one thing I've noticed this too, if you have done all you could to get people to notice you and to like you at the jump and they didn't, don't worry about getting it later. If you didn't get it then, you damn sure ain't getting it now. This is how screwed up people are. Because sometimes they'll back an entire loser before they back somebody with some quality. And when they finally see that person of quality there, that's your time to leave. You know what I mean? I'm talking to all you guys and all you girls out there. You are people of quality. You're not wasting time arguing with other people about Stellar Blade actually being a problem for women, right? Stellar Blade is not a problem for women. That is a beautiful woman, a female protagonist in an awesome storyline that's going to be coming to PlayStation soon. That's nothing to be ashamed of. I would take that over, like, what the hell Xbox is trying to pull with listening in on everybody's conversations to find out who's offensive and who isn't. That's dumb. Like, and first off, how the hell are you going to enforce something like that when you know... You, you know how big, big the gaming industry is and how many people like to just unwind and unload and have a good time playing video games? I mean, no matter what it is, it's just more scrutiny. It's more people watching you than anything, and... You know, for a Twitch streamer like myself, it's like this. Yeah, I wouldn't mind people watching me, but if I'm having a off-air session with my friends and stuff, and I'm having a good time, we're playing Helldivers or Halo or whatever, I'm a cuss, I'm going to say some crazy things too. But I'm not going to be racist or any of that stuff. Oh, by the way, yeah, the most damning thing is to be racist, right? Yeah, it's foolish to be racist in general, but you know, it's like... That's like mother's milk to some of these people out here. They're looking for that stuff, and they're like, oh, yeah, 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 you can't do that, you can't do that. Once again, it's already a problem, but the fact that some of y'all get off on that stuff, and you over here trying to hype people up for doing such is stupid, too. And the thing is, like I always say, let's see how people talk. Let's go ahead and see all this stuff out in the open, because once again, at least then you know. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, people cover up all that stuff because, once again, we're afraid of the attention. Mm-hmm. Or, like, you know, male sensitivity and all that stuff. Oh, that doesn't exist. Yeah, it does, actually. But, you know, I've noticed a lot of morons ruining that, too. Uh, especially this one dude that has, like, a gorilla as his symbol. And he's an African-American man. And that that's already stupid in general because a lot of African-American men do not want to be associated with the great apes. Because of the racial connotations. So you think about it. It's just it's just a lot of shit, man. And then I noticed this too. When I was in the podcast game and all, which I never got out of, but you know, like I, I wanted to be in good with some of those groups at one time, but not at the cost of myself. And even when I did a crossover special one time a long, a long time ago, I realized that motherfucker was stupider than a brick. Stupid is not even a word, but you know, <laughs> I just wanted to go ahead and say that stuff for the time. But I know he was more ignorant than, uh, for fuck's sake, of anybody else I had to deal with on the internet, and that's why I don't associate with him now. And you'll notice this because this is a little precursor to tomorrow's episode. Because this whole thing about friends on the weekend and shit is stupid. You know what that means, right? It means that you're not friends throughout crucial moments, important moments, and every day, you're only friends on selective days and in secret. That's bullshit. I hate that stuff. It's like, if you can't hang out with me in the daytime, why the hell are you hanging out with me at night? I don't understand people when they do that stuff. And I always say, like, you know, if something's on your mind, talk about it. Like, I tell anybody, you know, talk about it. I'm not going to put you on the show for it, but, you know, talk about it. Get it out of your system. Get it off your chest. Learn how to vent. But now we're running out of areas to vent in. Stop worrying about being popular with people because popularity in general is a bullshit thing and it'll make you sick. There are people out here to this day that are trying to people please that will never get anywhere in life. You know, they're always going to get that same situation, that same bag holding, the same nonsense of being mistreated by people they're trying to get in goods with. There are people that are grown doing that shit. And it's sad, you know, but me on the other hand, I ain't going through any of that nonsense. I'm just going to say what I need to say, do the shows that I need to do, keep working on the programs here at J360 Productions, and at least I can say I went out being a fucking legend, unlike most of these damn lemmings floating around here. So that's something to be proud of. Know what I mean? And y'all should strive to do similar things, if you can. 
But, you know, I, I've noticed it. Like, some people don't have their own personality. Some people don't have, you know, their own stuff. Some people don't even have, like, their own grip on things. They need people to do stuff for them, like mooching off of them and all that stuff. And, you know, once again, that's the most pathetic person on the planet. But I've already said enough. i got to get on out of here, though. But, you know, as it goes down, guys, I really want to say this, though. Those of you that have been listening to me for quite some time, I say what I need to say. You need to say what you need to say, okay? Be about this life. Because there's too much fake stuff in society and it ain't getting any better until, unless we make an example. You hear me? But until then, though, the J-Man Show is coming on tomorrow. This is J-Man signing off. Take it easy. Peace. Peace.